Both teams and both fan bases ready for this one and a maximum capacity crowd watching this game. First quarter, Colin Paris kicks out to Tyrese Hairston. He finds Braden Cruz open for three from the corner and the Beavers are on the board first. But Shady Spring answers. Luke LaRose with a long pass inside to Eric Bevel for the layup. That ties the game at 5-all. Later, though, Cruz putting up another three from the corner. It's off the rim this time, but the ball would eventually fall to Hairston who scores on the putback and that would be the start of a run for the Beavers. Jaheim House able to secure another rebound, kicks out to Cruz at the top of the key. He opts to drive in the paint and gets the finger roll. That makes it an 18-11 ball game. Tigers trying to trim the deficit. LaRose one-on-one -on -one in the corner. Over to Braden Chapman. He drives him from the wing for the left-handed layup. But then in the final seconds of the first quarter, Cruz going inside the paint. Grayson Shepard blocks the shot, but Caden Fuller keeps the possession alive. He finds Hairston, whose three beats the buzzer. Bluefield up 21-13 after one. To the second quarter, Tommy Williams outside the arc. A quick pass inside to LaRose, who was able to finish the layup. And then at the other end of the court, Hairston's first pass inside is deflected back out to Hairston. He goes goes over to Parks at the top of the key. He finds Sean Martin inside who scores from underneath as the teams would trade baskets later in the second. Cole Chapman moving inside the arc. He nails this long too, but the Beavers keeping the lead throughout the first half as Martin again scores from close range. Beavers have an eight-point lead at halftime, but Shady Spring would rally in the second half and the Tigers get the win at home 73-70 to, to stay unbeaten.